Well, the Seattle Art Museum reopens today and visitors are in for a real treat. A new exhibit is The American Struggle by artist Jacob Lawrence. Plus, the exhibit includes a special gallery of works created by youth artists. Lake Washington High School artist Summer DeBoom and museum curator Teresa Papanicolis shared more. The exhibition was organized by the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts, and Sam is the fourth museum that the show has gone to. So it's been traveling all around the country, really attracting a lot of national attention, a lot of attention focused on Jacob Lawrence. And then the focus of the exhibition is on Lawrence's Struggle series, which is a series of 30 paintings that he did in the 50s at the height of the civil rights movement that talk about and really interrogate the history of American history. And to go a little bit further in that, there is an extra special component to, to the Jacob Lawrence exhibit. Teresa, could you explain what the 31st panel is? Jacob Lawrence painted a series of 30 panels and they are really the sort of high points of American history but told from alternative perspectives, perspectives of African-Americans, Native Indigenous people, women, heroes and unsung heroes. All of this, you know, many, many voices go into the panels that make up the series. And our teen arts group at SAM, which is a group of teenage or of high school students who are very involved in the museum, they meet regularly, they develop programming, came up with the idea to issue a call to artists to imagine what the 31st panel of the series would look like. What would Jacob Lawrence paint if he were painting the next panel, and then especially if he were painting that panel today? So they issued a call to artists. They got about 20 different submissions of those. They selected 12, so they organized this whole thing. And all of these 12 artists were thinking about, you know, what comes next for the Struggle series. Drummer oh, yeah. is one of 12 students, yeah. That is, congratulations, uh -oh. Summer. You should be so proud of yourself. Tell us about your piece and why you think it is so important for young people specifically to be getting into art right now. I personally believe that art is going to be one of the things, is is and is going to be one of the things that connects uh, everybody and will connect a lot of people in the future. And my piece, the inspiration from it came from a video I saw and it was this little girl mar participating in a Black Lives Matter march. And she was shouting, no justice, no peace over and over again. And she was so young and it was very inspirational to watch to see kids who are like younger than me participating in, in actions that, will, that are going to change the world at some point. And so I wanted to show that even kids can change the world no matter what race or color they are. And so in my piece, I got, a, I have a little black girl who's very young and she's standing against all odds, standing up for what she believes in, standing up for her rights, standing up for who she is as a person and for what her future is going to hold, showing the strength of mm -hmm. children, of people of color and of the, with the future generations are going to hold for the, for America and the world, technically, so. Well, that really inspires hope. Summer, congratulations to you. Super and inspiring. Your Thank you. 11 other awardees. Teresa, before we let you go, what else can people expect to see at SAM? Um, well, they can expect to see, in addition to the Struggle series, um, work by three contemporary artists in the show, and they are Derek Adams, Hank Willis Thomas, and Bethany Collins, all of whom did work drawing from American history and thinking of themes that are similar to those that Lawrence dealt with in the Struggle series. Mm -hmm. and, th this is, and this is the only West Coast venue for the series. This is the first time it's being reunited in decades. So it's a very special, um, special experience for our visitors and a special um, moment for Sam. Also on view is will be Barbara Will Thomas, exhibition of geography of innocence which opened in november shortly before we had to close for a second time mm -hmm. so that will be reopened open for some months so and it's a beautiful like also super inspiring exhibition so those two special exhibitions plus our wonderful permanent collection um, are all going to be on view today when the museum opens well again the seattle art museum opens today 
March 5th, the Lawrence exhibit is on display through May 23rd, and you'll need to reserve your timed tickets online. We've got all the details on our website.